Has it ever occurred to you that what you eat affects your love life? Think about it, the food of love. And of course, as your love doctor, Dr. Brenda Wade here, it is so important to me that we look at our love lives from every aspect, body, emotions, mind, and spirit. So I want you to think about your food. There's all this new research that shows that gluten-free isn't just a craze, that gluten-free actually is based on research that too much gluten impacts the brain in a way that actually promotes diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's. That there's a link, there's a reason that cultures that consume low amounts of gluten also have low amounts of Alzheimer's. Now let's get back to your love life. What does that have to do with your love life? If you're eating food that makes you feel good, that makes you feel healthy, that keeps your energy up like this as opposed to this, which is what we get with sugar blues or what we get after we consume gluten, heavy carbs, too much fat. A healthy diet leads to a healthy body and a healthy body is a body that has lots of energy and you feel juicy and available and ready for love. So think carefully. There are foods that definitely make you feel good. Now, it's very simple, very simple. Anything that looks the way it did when it came out of the ground and any lean protein, you're good to go. That's very simple and not as a diet. We talked about this last week after the Dr. Oz show where I talked with a woman who was starving herself on a juice fast. All of those things like juicing, all of that is healthy in moderation. If you're living on juice, obviously it's bad. If you're living on only any one thing, unhealthy. So think, how does my plate look? And we want to look at that healthy plate, lean protein and lots of color. That means foods in their natural state with beautiful colors, beets, carrots, leafy greens, all of those wonderful things give energy. They give the body minerals, vitamins, and all of that is the food of love. Now, there are some other love foods that also have been known to produce a rather aphrodisiac effect. Dark chocolate is one, so you can look to dark chocolate for that special romantic evening. You can also think of, in moderation again, something bubbly because the effervescence tends to lift the mood. But again, be very careful. And I would even say, remember it's Shakespeare who said it best, alcohol increases the desire and it dampens the performance. So maybe you want to have some mint tea that's mildly stimulating instead of bubbly. Lots of options. Choose the one that really works for you. But above all, think about the food that promotes health because that impacts your love life. And I want you to be healthy and have a great love life. So join me for a free 90 minute seminar that's available right now. We have a food breakthrough teleseminar. It's my gift to you. You can register right here on our website. And I look forward to talking to you in detail about foods that promote health supplements. Bring your questions because it's live and there'll be times when you can ask questions, make comments. Our nutritionist will be on that call with me. So we'll have a certified, registered, highly qualified nutritionist. She's been on staff at UC Berkeley for a very long time. So we've got all of that for you because you deserve good love and good health. Blessings everyone. I'm Dr. Brenda Wade.